Boniface. Yes, Della. I, I know that all this thing we are talking about, Ghana hmm. love, Nigeria Jollof, hmm. Senegal Jollof, I because you you there you don't even know anything about. What is Jollof now? We don't even I, know what know. Jollof is. In East Africa. No, you, you know, see, this is like a sibling rivalry. You know, when you and your sister, you're fighting, and then your friends are looking at you thinking, what is happening here? So when we hear the West Africans fighting about who has the best jollof, us mm. in East Africa, we're wondering, what is this thing called jollof again? Don't worry. The day you come to Ghana, they, see, when I come and uh, welcome you at the airport, I'm coming with a bowl of jollof. <laughs> when you come to Ghana, that's what you're eating first. Jollof with... Egg and tolobifi. But how are you doing, Bunny Face? I know uh, you've been touring, you've been on some, you know, nice work and leisure um, exposure in Dubai. How has it been like? Are you back? Are you back home? Yes, I am. See my life. As in, I am, I'm paid to have fun. It's so unfair. I, mean, I, was, I, was like, I was like, why should they only pay Bunny Face to have fun when they can pay like us? You know, it can be a collaboration or we can all have fun. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to have that conversation with them. Yes. Yes. So we will talk about that. So yes, as you said, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie will sort you out. Oh yes, yes. I, I definitely believe in you. But but Bonnie face, when 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 you say that East Africans don't even know how to feel about mm -hmm. Jollof, is there like any curiosity even amongst East Africans just to even try this Jollof and you know settle it once and for all? Well, um, people who've traveled to West Africa have, of course, tasted jollof. People who've interacted with a lot of West Africans have uh, tasted jollof. But it's one of those things many of us just hear about it, but we've never really tried it. So, uh, like the rice which is popular here is pilau, you know. Um, okay. So if you've, I don't know, it's very popular at the coast. It's there in Tanzania. So that's a really, really popular pilau. Also, the coconut rice is also a bit popular. Ugali, of course, and chapati, those are the real popular things around uh, East Africa. But jollof, uh, not really. Yo, we just not hear really, about eh? it. Yeah, the the, the pilau, how, how, that, that sounds interesting, though. Mm. I mean, how is that one made? So the pilau is made with... The, particular spices called pilau masala they are like ground um i'm not sure what they're made of but they're just those particular spices are the ones you use when you want to make pilau then you throw in with meat uh, of course the guys from the coast are the ones who will make you the real pilau now people from inland uh, they'll make you fake pilau i don't know maybe it is like comparing the nigerians make the real pilau Ghanaians don't make the real one i don't know <laughs> And the Senegalese making the real out. Don't worry, we'll compare all of that. But, but what do you have for us today in the world of entertainment, Bonifaz? So just like you said, yes, a few weeks ago, um, we were on a beautiful, beautiful trip to Dubai with the Dubai girls. They're actually Nigerian superstar Omoni Oboli, Uche, Jom, uh, Uche Jombo. I hope I spelled the name right. Ofuomo, Uche Jumbo. <laughs> uh, Uche, Uche Jumbo. Ofomo and of course Chioma. Now, interesting thing happened when I was interviewing them. So I start with asking a question. You know, Nigeria is one of the premier, uh, you know, film industry in Africa. Where, 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 where? Before I even finish that statement, I was attacked. I was told, "What do you mean, Nigeria is the most is one of? We are the best in the world. The film industry, <laughs> that is." So there I was trying to defend myself. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's a conversation for another day. Is Nigeria the best film industry? Because for me, I was like, no, Kenyans, we do pretty good films. They're just not seen that much. Okay, okay. So now I see where the conversation Yours is not on Jollof. Yours is on movies. Interesting. Mm -hmm. so that was interesting so that was a beautiful trip but of course i think it also the, the whole thing because they're also dubai tourism is also coming to kenya this week that's also now news for next week and they are actually looking for kenyan influencers and uh, kenyan um media and they want to plug in to the local uh market because it looks like africa we have actually become a market we are a big big market for for dubai because they're looking for for tourists to come from africa which for me is interesting because you know before we were always like the tour destination so we used to go out to the world to market for them to come visit us but now i think we've 
we've grown we've actually become a tourist market to the point where we actually are being sought out um, by other markets because we also had something in Kenya we had the the South African tourism has also been doing a lot of uh, a lot of efforts, and even your, even even the this particular show that we do, it just shows you that uh, Africans have actually matured to the point where we are not just the people who come to be visited, but we also become tourists who are going out and touring. That's quite interesting there. So so it means that. Of course, it's not just about Kenya being um, now a tourist destination, but the fact that it's also opening up for other markets. Exactly, exactly. That now we have become the tour. Because, you know, in Kenya, to be honest, we always had that thing of, ah, if you're touring, hey, you must be really, really rich, you know. You must be doing well for you to travel. But it's gotten to that point where there's actually affordable travel for you to to travel all over the world and it looks like uh, not not just kenyans by the way even nigerians because we were there with um all african media so it just shows you how much we have grown as africans that we are actually considered a market by very very big com- uh, by very very big countries that now they are coming to market to us for us to travel there Quite interesting. I think I like this. I think I like I like how the conversation when it comes to tourism on the African continent is going. Ghana's hoping also, you know, to come out there with more, you know, tourist marketing strategies that also make us a destination where people would want to come in and of course and enjoy and have a good time. But what else do you have for us again? So of course the news also that was that hit the ground was the death of the Queen. Um, which yes. was received uh, very interestingly, especially online and a lot of Kenyan uh, media and Kenyan celebrities you know, really, really weighed in. One of the most interesting one was, uh, I don't know if you know, there's a gentleman called Larry Mador. He is... Yes, I think he had an interview, uh, one of the international media correspondents, is, I think CNN. Yes, he's actually right now. He started out in the Kenyan market. He was a big popular you know, media personality here and then went to, to, to CNN where he's now a, a major, major correspondent. And yes, he really brought in that conversation of um, the mixed feelings with which uh, people received the death of the Queen. As much as, yes, on one hand, we, we celebrate her as an icon and as a leader of one of the greatest, you know, world leaders. But of course, on the other hand, especially for us in the African continent, there's that history of colonization, you know. And so it was interesting. Online, of course, celebrities and also media personalities were on both ends of the spectrum. Some were saying... And this was actually across even in Tanzania because there were some very funny f- memes <laughs> that were going down across the border from Kenya to, to 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 Tanzania, you know. And the biggest one was talking about how when the queen meets with uh, Princess Diana. Princess Diana in heaven. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting. It, it's quite interesting how the conversation has really been. Um, of course, not just that. Here in Ghana as well, there's been quite a number of you know, personal reservations about mm. the Queen and her reign. Um, Nigeria as well. I know that one popular um, professor on Twitter had to have one of her tweets, you know, deleted by Twitter. Mm. Her, 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 her handle went to Twitter jail. I, I didn't even know about how the Twitter jail went, but she was in Twitter jail for some time. Mm. Thank God she's been released, you know, she's, she's been acquitted and discharged, discharged, you know, but I get I get how the conversation has been also on, on that line. So I think tomorrow the, the Queen actually will be laid to rest. Finally, mm. we've been monitoring um, since her announcement about a week ago, how people have been queuing for 10 hours, mm. you know, just to pass and say, um, goodbye or rest in peace or thank you for just some few seconds, but they spent so much, you know, time in the in the in the queue just to do that. And we keep asking ourselves, how many of us would even be prepared to do that? Should we lose anyone prominent, you know, in our country? Yeah. So even our president, we have a new president, by the way. We, I, we, we also watched the inauguration. Oh, I mean, indeed. Kenya, Kenya, Kenya displayed beautifully. Yes, it was a beautiful, beautiful um, ceremony. All our top um, artists got to perform. There was even a song that some of our top artists really, really, uh, you know, performed. And it was also a lot of uh, 
even uh, we had some Tanzanian artists also performing. So it was a, a beautiful ceremony that happened. Boniface, I want to thank you so much this afternoon, always doing us the honors with news for any part of, you know, the African continent, whether it's Eastern or Western or Northern. I mean, you're doing amazing. And thank you so much for your time every Sunday on Beat Africa. We really, 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 really appreciate you. Let's talk about how now when you're going, I'll be your handbag, you know. When you're going here, I'm your handbag. You're going here, I'm your handbag. <laughs> we'll have that conversation, but thank you so much. And I really, really hope you have an amazing week ahead, my darling. Thank you. So I have been talking to Bonnie Face Nyaga. Now, what